they would not have they would not let this let this thing available if it was dudes trying to promote they stuff. Now look, I, I I have Twitch. I watch nigga. I, I should have saw that content out with Nicki Minaj. Be that be okay. That be okay, nigga. Shit, but listen, 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 listen. I don't know shit about the Twitch policies. I don't know none of that because I ain't on that shit yet. Eventually, I'm going to get the stream. I know they say this shit so much, but listen. We're going to get into that shit soon. Apparently, they got a new policy that I ain't hear about. So, let's hear about this shit, man. See the What's the policy update, update change, change that, that was, was so surprising, surprising that, that I felt I needed, needed to do something shocking, shocking just, to just to get into the same spirit? spirit. So, so, I threw my hair into a messy man bun. bun. Surprise! Surprise. Twitch announced that it's going to be loosening its policy on sexual content, trying to give clarity on what is and isn't allowed when it comes to sexual content on Twitch. Is that the only fan The only fan The one that got banned? They about to loosen it? No. She about they, they, they don't only fan about to take advantage of that. They about to be promoting that shit. They gonna be flashing them kids. It's too many little kids on that bitch. You can't even do that, man. If you do that, bro, like everybody. And they are announcing that you can now have deliberately highlighted breast, buttocks, or pelvic region as long as this stream has a content classification label, which is a label that just lets, war lets users know that there is sexual themes present. And as long as the content is artistic, nudity is permitted. As long as it's artistic in nature, it has Twitch's stamp of approval to exist. New York Times gives it two thumbs way up from the Twitch headquarters as long as there is art. Okay. They would not have. They would not let this let this thing available if it was dudes trying to promote their stuff. If it was dudes trying to promote their body, this 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 nudity thing would not be a thing. This 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 leniency on nudity would not be a thing if it was dudes. Because keep in mind, the dudes that would be doing it would be the the the, the creepos, the one that's weird. You know what I'm saying? That be yeah, they be doing all type of preto stuff, man. But somehow. Some way, somehow, the the, the 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 girls made it possible. I'll be eh, if I go to a Twitch, a Twitch stream, and I see dude with a ball out. I'll be, I'll be eh. The context around the nudity that is presented. So Christmas really did come early for hog squeezers this year, and it also applies to animated depictions of nudity, drawn, sculpted, modeled, any of that, and even goes beyond that. There's also a guideline update to what dances are allowed when it comes to like sexually suggestive dance moves. They stated that twerking, grinding, and pole dancing are now allowed without a label. I mean, for some reason, when I read this, I just envisioned them doing like a press conference. Like the press. They, they, they must be trying to compete with Kick on some shit. Now, I don't know about the policy difference between Kick and uh, Twitch, but I, one thing I do know is that Kick is way more lenient than Twitch. Now, if they just probably copied the little policies that Twitch got going on, then I see how they just trying to bring more people to their platform. Ah, that's a little risky. That's a little risky, man. That's a little risky. Now, how about what are they gonna say about the word languages and stuff? And coming out, he just stands at the podium, twerking. It's okay. And then, like, some people start clapping. Now, while they may have explained that these dance moves are allowed, there's still no word from the Twitch higher ups on whether or not my spec. I had to think about it. Say, <laughs> say, uh, little kid. Or not a little kid. Say somebody in their teens. They actually, you know what I'm saying? They're like, hey, I'm going to stop beating. This November, I'm about to stop. I'm about to stop. You know what I'm saying? And they working hard. You know what I'm saying? They actually going day by day. Day for day, nigga. They, they, they going to day 30. They on day 29. And then they go to Twitch and they see a bitch with their titties on. And then they fuck up. It's gonna be their fault. <laughs> Ain't no, they go. It's gonna be their fault because they allowed it to happen. Like this junk is, this junk is terrible. It, it, he gonna fall into the little tent. Now at the end of the day, that's his choice. But yeah, they, that temptation when there came up, it ain't pop up. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be popping up a ways a lot more. Nah, that's a lot of 13, 14 year olds on that bitch. So I ain't dance know. moves will be permitted, or if they're, they're still, still, still a little, little too hot, hot for Twitch to handle, handle lead to an instant ban. ban. Yep, the hot dog hoedown, Charles White classic. 
Oh, what's that? A Habo Hotel True Combo? Let's do it. <laughs> and then the last major change they announced is that they're going to be revising how the homepage recommends content, so you won't be seeing mature recommendations on your homepage anymore. These are pretty much all the major guideline changes that have been presented, but I want to get into the weeds of them because there's quite a lot to unpack. First and foremost, though, the reason why all of this has come out is in response to a controversy that's been going on for like the last week or so on Twitch. I'm sure most of you have seen the headlines. There's been a new Twitch meta that blew up on the platform where some women would appear to be topless on stream and do certain movements in order to make their titties jiggle. Though you couldn't see the nipple, it was implied below the camera frame. So you just saw the top of their bare necessities and everything else was assumed nudity implied. This right here is the pioneer of the meta. Her name is Morgapi. She really blazed the trails here and carved a new path in the Twitch ecosystem for this branch of content. So again, basically, as you saw from the picture, it was appearing as though she was completely topless and would interact with the chat and then sometimes do like certain movements to really get the get the boobies moving. In the words of a wise man, then thangs be thangin'. And this led to a lot of discussion on is this allowed on Twitch? What is Twitch's policy when it comes to content like this? Does this have the green light or is it flying under the radar? What's going on? So this prompted Twitch to make these guideline changes to bring clarity to it. They did ban Morgpie as well as a couple other streamers who did this type of content, this meta. But then they came forward with more clarification on what they permit. And that's what we just went over today. Before diving into my perspective, giving you my opinion from my small little noodle brain, I do want to mention two quick things. The first... Our podcast is somehow the number five biggest podcast in the world on Spotify. We're starting to catch up to Joe Rogan. Bite at his heels here. The Red Thread is a podcast that I run with Windagoon and Jackson. It's all about cryptids, conspiracies, cold case... Wow, huge voice crack. Cold cases and cults. I just had to quickly mention this because this had me smiling all morning to see the Red Thread pop off like this. I'll put a link to the Spotify in the description as well as the YouTube channel that we post all of it on in case any of you are curious and checking it out. And then the other thing I want to quickly mention is that our Dungeons and Dragons campaign, our show, our Dungeons and Dragons show skill check, we decided to stop streaming the episodes because it created so much confusion on where people can find skill checks since I don't save VODs, like I don't save any of the VODs. Instead, we just post the videos to the skill check YouTube channel. So going forward, no more streaming it. We're just going to drop the videos on the skill check YouTube channel every Wednesday at 8 p.m. MEST. So there's going to be a link to that channel in the description as well. All right, that's all for the updates. Let's get back to the Twitch policy. <laughs> I will say one change that I think is a massive W no matter how you spin it is that they'll no longer be recommending mature content on Twitch's homepage. I made a whole video about this. If you go on Twitch when you're not logged in, a few of the top recommendations, no matter what, even on an incognito browser, a fucking brand new computer, anything, some of the top recommendations are always sexually suggestive content. The number one being Taylor Javeau. I made a whole video about that where she's usually body painting or like doing squats for subs. Mainly her big thing was stalling to get to that. But it always recommends sexually suggestive content when you go to Twitch's homepage. So the fact that that's going to no longer be the case I think is a good thing because Twitch is a website that is used by a lot of underage people. It's not exclusively used by kids, but there is absolutely a lot of kids on there, make no mistake. It's a 13 plus website. Like, you have to be 13 to sign up. So it is clearly a place that's accessible to kids. So it's good to no longer have the mature content being pushed right in their face on the homepage the second you go there. But now, let's get into the messiness of it. The policy change around artistic nudity is a certainly interesting direction for Twitch to go. Because if you go on Twitch right now, and I don't even think I can pull up the current browser here, like a picture of it, because there is so much... Furry porn as well as naked anime girls. Furry? On... No, last time I saw Furry was when Gideon doing that, man. He ain't doing he on his godly word. Blessings to him. Yeah, see, but furry? Furry na? Fur fur furry man? Out of everything? Flurry furry really be out here flashing like those? Thumbnails, because that's what people are drawing on there right now. I, it, it take me like 20 minutes to censor all of it, to show it, so I'm not going to bother. If you go on there at any point in time, though, going forward, I imagine you're going to see a ton of porn, it, like hentai, being drawn. 
uh, I'll show you Jake Lucky's tweet because he already did the censoring for me and it's just one stream. But this is already seemingly blowing up. On the art category right now, every single stream in the top 15 except for two are naked anime characters being drawn or naked furries being drawn. Which is totally permitted by Twitch's new policy. They're not breaking any rules, they're playing it by the book, it's all above board. Don't hate the player, hate the game. And I'm hating the game a little bit, I'm gonna be honest. It feels very weird to have that content live under the same umbrella, the same platform as all the other non-sexually explicit content. Like, it just feels kind of out of place. I hate having to default to stating this kind of argument, but... Twitch is a 13 plus platform. It feels weird to have an 18 plus category be immediately accessible by just going to the number six most popular category as of right now, me making this video and immediately having access to porn. That's just kind of weird to me. Yes, it is labeled. So when you try and watch it, it gives you some kind of sexually suggestive warning, but you can still immediately see it in the thumbnails. It's still right there. And it's right there at your fingertips on the same website as the non you know, 18 plus stuff. I don't have an issue with them allowing artistic nudity streams to exist, but it should have been spun off into its own separate place as opposed to being under the same umbrella as the rest of the, the streams. Cause I really feel like it's totally different. Like I just don't think the two should coexist in the same space. It should be separated. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm definitely not a huge fan of that direction there. I've always said that Twitch probably wants to make an 18 plus category because there's a lot of money in that, which is fine if that's the direction they want to go, like having the adult Twitch category or something. They still haven't fully done that, but it looks like they're tiptoeing ever closer to it. But it really needs to be a totally separate category that isn't just easily accessible from just the regular Twitch experience that you can get to with a single category that is number six right now. Like, it needs to be far more separated. Now, that's the main one I wanted to talk about. I'm very curious to see how all of the other policy changes are going to, like, what they're going to lead to, I guess. Because, to me, it seems like a lot of it's easily exploitable by some bad actors that are probably going to just try and drive Twitch audience to their porn. Like, it, it feels like a lot of this is just going to make it a, a little messier on the platform when it comes to that kind of practice but it remains to be seen maybe giving this clarity is helpful in avoiding that somehow i'm just not entirely sure the only one i'm in like sure on is that i don't really like that now you can just immediately get hentai just from going to the fucking top categories that's that to me is just weird to be on twitch but yeah, anyway that's the whole twitch policy hoopla in a nutshell that's about it that, that 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 that's that's insane. Nah, I mean Twitch doing that thing. They know they know how to market. They for the people that actually like doing that. That's that's on them, man. <laughs> they they really try to bring. I don't know. If they trying to compete with Kick or what? They just nah. They probably just want some more money. They know that they probably losing the shit because of Kick. Cause of kick, you know what I'm saying? But that's the theory. Cause I know the th I, all I do know is that Kick is way more. You know what I'm saying? Lenient than uh. Twitch. Anyways, man, hope y'all enjoyed that video. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I'll catch y'all niggas on the next one. Stay, stay iconic. See the love in the eyes of the kid that was lost and it turned to a rebel. Mama don't give up on me.